in this video we will talk about what is back emf or counter emf now this is a very important term in case of dc motor because if the back emf is not there then it can damage the motor and also the system in which the motor is connected we'll talk about that also in detail so make sure for that you watch the video till the end now before we understand the concept of back emf there are two basic things that we should know let us try to understand that first so the first thing is let's say i have two permanent magnets and that permanent magnets are generating magnetic field that you can see on your screen now if inside this magnetic field if i place a current carrying conductor then it is going to experience a force and that will cause maybe a rotation maybe a diversion from one direction to another direction now this is the basic principle on which the motor or generator works if you place a current carrying conductor inside a magnetic field it is going to experience a force now why is that because when current passes through a conductor it generates its own magnetic field that you can see on your screen for example and this magnetic field basically interacts with the magnetic field created by uh, a magnet or by an electromagnet and that's why the diversion or the force acts on the conductor now this is basically a situation wherein if you you know pull the magnets same with the same polarities together they are going to repel each other so what is happening here is they the two magnetic fields are basically interacting with each, with each other and creating a force that diverts the another magnet right this we have seen so this is the first basic things uh, that we should know the second basic thing is let's say we have a magnetic field again generated by a permanent magnet or there can be electromagnet as well now inside this magnet we have placed a conductor again now what i am doing is i will move the magnet so what is happening is the flux that is interacting with the conductor are varying and as a result a voltage is getting generated across the terminal of the conductor which is nothing but the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction we have talked about the faraday's law in detail in this video you can definitely go and check it out for more details i'll provide link for it down in the description so that is the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction if flux is getting cut then there will be emf induced across the terminal of the conductor right so these are the two important terms so first one we saw is current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field will experience a force right this is the first one the second one is if flux linking to a conductor varies with the time then voltage is induced between its terminal which is nothing but the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction now these are the two basic things you should know before you understand the back emf now before we understand the back emf if you are interested in the course created by me on dc machines then you can join it it is available on courses.theelectricalguide.in well you can get from zero to hero in a dc machine using this course the course is really really easy to understand and every concepts unfolds at a very specific time so that you don't get confused if you are looking for a course which will clear all your concepts about dc machine then this is the course which is available at the most affordable prices definitely go and check it out link is provided down in the description so with this understanding of these two basic concepts let's now talk about the dc motor now if you look at the basic construction of dc motor it consists of two magnets it can be permanent magnet or it can be electromagnet now this permanent magnet are responsible for generating the magnetic field that we need right now we will place a conductor inside the magnetic field now this is what we call as armature it has different conductors and to which we have connected a supply right we call it as es let's say it is of 100 volts now the moment i switch on this supply the conductor inside the armature will experience a force and it will start rotating right this is the first phenomena that that we saw few minutes back the moment it starts rotating it also started cutting the magnetic field which is generated by our permanent magnets right so every conductor inside the armature across it uh, the magnetic field is changing the flux is changing and what will happen because of that because of that 
and emf will get generated inside the armature as well this is based on the principle of electromagnetic induction that we just saw the magnetic flux around the conductor is changing and as a result an emf is getting induced in the armature and this is also called as generating effect and this is uh, given by term e0 es is our supply voltage and e0 is the emf generated by the generating effect right now this emf acts in the opposite direction to that of the supply voltage es if supply voltage is positive let's say then the e0 or the emf generated by generating effect would be a negative it uh, acts in the opposite direction and that is the reason why it is called as back emf or counter emf it acts as a counter to the supply emf and hence the name is counter emf or back emf now this back emf is of a very key importance in case of dc motor because if this back emf is not there then it can completely damage the motor and also the system uh, in which the motor is connected now why is so let us try to understand that now as i said the back emf acts in the opposite direction to the supply voltage therefore the net voltage that will be there across this armature would be supply voltage minus the back emf that is e es minus e0 that would be the uh, net voltage you know the, the resistance of armature is very very minimum so if you want to find out the current that is flowing through the armature then you can use this particular formula so what is this so current is equals to the net voltage divided by the resistance of the armature using this you can calculate the current now initially when you just connected the supply and motor is in standstill condition it is not accelerating in that case the back emf e0 would be zero because there is no acceleration therefore no flux will be cut by the conductor and there won't be any emf induced in that conductor hence initially the back emf would be zero so what remains is the supply voltage divided by resistance only so if you put the values let's say let's assume the resistance of armature is 2 uh, ohms so the current that you will see initially would be 50 ampere and generally the starting current of motor is 20 to 30 times than the full load current and this is huge now if let's say back emf is not getting generated then the 50 ampere will flow continuously to, uh, through this motor and if motor is definitely not designed to carry 50 ampere it will completely damage the motor after a certain period and not only motor it can also impact the system in which the motor is connected and that's why the back emf is very very important now let's say the motor is started rotating it is it has started accelerating because of the force and back emf has started building let's say now it has become uh, 60 volts and now the current that you will see has dropped to 20 ampere and once it reaches the full load speed the back emf will you know build slowly and then the current will drop now if this is not possible if the back emf is not there and that is the reason why back emf is of a paramount importance in case of dc motor and hence understanding the concept is also very very important and what are the other important things is definitely to subscribe my channel so that you don't miss any of the updates of such easy to understanding videos now if you found this video helpful then i am 100 percent sure that you will love the course that i have created on dc machine definitely go and check it out i have provided link for that down in the description so that's all for this video guys i hope you have understood the concept of back emf and counter emf if you like the video do click on the like button and do share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing so that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one with one more interesting video till then keep watching keep learning